Jovi Dufren and Yara Zaya split? Here's what the 90 Day Fayance star had to say. Hello lovely viewers, and welcome back to Vogue America new episode with Lucy. During a recent Instagram story Q&A, Jove encouraged his fans and followers to ask him anything. Jovi received many questions about his personal life, including his favorite foods, drinks, and travel destinations. One question, however, sparked rumors that Jovi and his wife, Yara Zaya, may have decided to part ways. Subscribe to our 90 Day Fiancé newsletter. Get updates on the latest posts and more from monsters and critics straight to your inbox. By submitting your information, you agree to our T and CS and privacy policy. One of Jovi's 445,000 Instagram followers asked, are you and Yara still together? You do not appear in any of her videos. The submission continued. Jovi claims he and Yara are not together. To answer the fan question about being together with Yara, Jovi included a photo of himself holding a birthday cake and a page from a coloring book. Jovi Dufren says he's not with Yara Zaya in his Instagram story. Jovi claims he and Yara are no longer together. Pick credit Jovid Instagram, no, we're not, Jovi wrote in the caption. Jovi and Yara's Instagram activity might offer clues about their marital status. Whether or not Jovi was telling the truth is a mystery. And a look at their Instagram activity doesn't disclose much about a possible breakup either. The last time Jovi appeared in one of Yara's Instagram reels was August 28. In the video, Yara promoted a hair removal device, and Jovi joined her on the bed as she zapped his legs with the light. The couple appeared to be getting along quite well, so if they did break up, it was rather sudden. Jovi addresses having more kids with Yara. While still answering questions from curious fans and followers, Jovi received another DM from someone asking about him and Yara expanding their family. Jovi's answer about his and Yara's marriage was puzzling. Now that Myla is older, are you and Yara considering expanding your family, they asked. Along with a photo of a pool surrounded by palm trees, Jovi answered cryptically, writing, to be continued. Earlier this month, Jovi and Yara enjoyed a getaway to Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, for Jovi's birthday. The 90-day fiancé couple looked very happy in the photos, joined by their daughter, Myla. In his accompanying caption, the Louisiana native wrote, more from Punacana, had the best time celebrating my birthday and for once just relaxing and enjoying the beach. Yara and Jovi's relationship woes took center stage on 90 Day The Last Resort. We haven't had an update on their relationship in several months since their storyline played out in season one of 90 Day The Last Resort. During their time at the marriage retreat with their castmates, Yara and Jovi were working through their marital issues. At the time, Yara came clean about being on the birth control pill and keeping it from Jovi. Yara worried about Jovi's hard partying ways. Jovi wasn't willing to go the extra mile in the bedroom to improve their sex life. And Jovi turned down a job offer that would have allowed him to be home with his family more often. By the end of the retreat, it appeared that Jovi and Yara were able to work through their issues, but is there more to the story that we don't know about? That remains to be seen, but something right. tells us Jovi might have been having fun with his followers during this Q&A and is pulling 90 Day Fiance fan 90 Day Fiance How Did Big Ed Meet His New Love, Portia Raymond 90 Day Fiance star Big Ed has been making headlines after photos and clips of himself proposing to another woman surfaced online. The 59-year-old man is known for his controversial social media antics, but many were left stunned when he got engaged to a woman he reportedly never knew. It was also discovered that her name is Portia Raymond, and more details are starting to surface about her. Keep reading to learn more about the mystery girl. Some Redditors recently discussed photos and clips of Big Ed proposing to a mystery woman at Capriati's sandwich shop. According to the poster, they were friends with the person who uploaded the photos, 
and they were shocked to see the 90-day fiance star popping the big question with another woman. Many already predicted they wouldn't last considering Big Ed's multiple failed relationships and engagements. There are also speculations that it was a public stunt, but Big Ed's recent interview tells a different story. According to reports, Big Ed met Portia at a fan event in Capriati's sandwich. Things happened quickly between the two, leading to Big Ed's decision to propose on the very first day they met. The 90-day fiance star made a makeshift paperclip ring and wasted no time to ask the question. Sources also claim that their proposal was genuine. In an interview, Big Ed revealed that he did meet Portia in his meet and greet event at the Capriati's sandwich shop on Monday, September 16. 90-day fiance, Big Ed's new collaboration. Big Ed has also been going off on social media following his recent collaboration with the sandwich shop in which he proposed to Portia Raymond. The 90-day fiance star offered his own gold sandwich recipe. This wasn't the first time Big Ed collaborated with a certain business. He's currently one of the most influential TLC stars today, even after all the controversies he had with his exes. Big Ed has yet to share details about his fiance, but some fans are still skeptical that everything between them is true. 90-day fiance. Is Jasmine still dating rumored BF Matt Brannis? Current relationship status. 90-day fiance star Jasmine Pinedo loves stirring the pot with her dating life. She initially turned heads with her chaotic marriage, and now she is making it to the headlines with her new romance. The celeb has evidently moved on in her life and is no longer with Gino Palazzolo. Amid all this, Jasmine recently gave a major update on her current dating life. She revealed what her relationship with her new boyfriend looked like and left her audience in disbelief. What is Pineda up to now? Is she still dating Matt Brannis? What is her update all about? 90 Day Fiance star Jasmine Pineda has been surrounded by cheating accusations ever since she parted ways with Gino Palazzolo. She allegedly cheated on a ladder with Matt Brannis, and her husband kicked her out of his house. Since then, the celeb has been living with her new beau and teasing her audience with her newfound chemistry. Jasmine is still making attempts to keep her fans on her toes. She recently posted a picture in which she was casually enjoying an Italian meal. Pineda sported a bold wifey sweatshirt while she happily posed in front of the camera. Apparently, the choice of wearing that wifey sweatshirt was something that dropped many jaws. Jasmine further added to her caption, On Sundays, we eat Italian food. This we confirmed that she was with someone special and had a ritual of going out on Sundays and having a meal together. While Pineda didn't reveal who was clicking her picture, fans were quick to assume that it was none other than Matt Brannis. They speculated that these two were ready to take their relationship to another level and perhaps were planning to walk down the aisle. 90 Day Fiance viewers are sure that Matt was Jasmine's partner during their recent Italian meal outing. The more these two try to keep their romance under wraps, the more they are surrounded by rumors. These speculations were further ignited when fans closely saw Pineda's recent Instagram story. In Jasmine's picture, she was evidently wearing a ring on that finger. She strategically flaunted her ring by placing it on the table. Hence, Pineda perhaps wanted to hint at her relationship status before she officially introduced her new partner to the world. That is why when viewers saw her with a ring, they concluded that Jasmine was engaged and the wedding bells were soon going to ring. This came after Jasmine flaunted roses and love letters that she got from her new beau. She even posted a screenshot of her private messages with Matt. The celeb cutely ordered her boyfriend to bring flowers for her while she texted him the grocery list. This further made it clear that she has finally moved on from Gino and is no longer looking back.